Volkes, gib du jetzt deine Stimme ab. Wenn ja, dann tritt für mich ein, so wie ich für dich eingetreten bin. War is a brutal test of human endurance. Soldiers face unimaginable challenges, physical, mental, and emotional. But throughout history, armies have looked for ways to give themselves an edge. World War II was no different. This wasn't just a fight of tanks and bombs, but a hidden war waged with pills. In this documentary, we'll delve into the dark story of drugs used in World War II. We'll explore how stimulants like amphetamines became a secret weapon, pushing soldiers beyond their limits. We'll see how both the Allied and Axis forces used these drugs, with devastating consequences. But this isn't just a story of the past. The use of performance-enhancing drugs continues to be a challenge in modern warfare. By understanding what happened in World War II, we can gain valuable insights into the ethical and health risks associated with pushing the boundaries of human potential. Nazi Germany is often associated with the widespread use of amphetamines, particularly a form of methamphetamine called pervitin. Fueled by these pills, German troops were able to maintain a relentless pace during the early Blitzkrieg invasion of France. Soldiers could go for days without sleep, pushing forward seemingly unstoppable. However, the true cost of these wonder pills was high. Amphetamines caused addiction, anxiety, psychosis, and even death. As the war dragged on, the effectiveness of Pervitin waned. Soldiers became dependent, and their health deteriorated. The Allies weren't innocent bystanders. While not as widespread as in Germany, the British and American forces also used amphetamines like Benzedrine. Pilots relied on them to stay awake during long missions, and tank crews used them to endure grueling battles. Just like German soldiers, Allied troops faced the dangers of addiction and mental breakdowns. The pressure to perform, combined with the powerful effects of these drugs, created a hidden crisis within the Allied armies. World War II marked a turning point in the use of performance-enhancing drugs in warfare. While these substances offered a temporary advantage, the human cost was immense. The lessons learned from this dark chapter are still relevant today. As technology advances, the line between enhancing performance and creating dangerous dependencies blurs. Understanding the history of drugs and war can help us make informed decisions about the future. Will we choose to push soldiers beyond their natural limits, or will we prioritize their health and well-being? The war on speed may have ended in 1945, but the battle for ethical and responsible performance enhancement continues.